And next we have Masood Hassani. Masood, would you like to introduce us to yourself and your projects? Uh, hi, uh, my name is, uh, as you heard, Masood Hassani. I was born uh, in uh, Afghanistan, uh, in Kabul, and uh, it was uh, the place it was called uh, Qasawa, and I was here uh, like uh, in the neighborhood of a lot of mountains, a lot of high mountains. And I used to play with this kind of uh, toys actually, but uh, together with my brother, and we made a lot of uh, this kind of uh, rolling objects, and we played uh, and we raced again against each other. And sometimes uh, these objects, they rolled actually too far, and there was a big desert over there. And sometimes we couldn't get them back because it was quite dangerous uh, surface over there because it was full of uh, landmines actually and uh, so I continued uh, this project about, about 20 years ago in here so I got the assignment at the, the academy to graduate so uh, I did the research about my toys uh, and so that was the more interesting one and so I will tell you about that what I did with uh, that uh, with those models and uh, as you can see, these are uh, sketchy uh, mm, pictures of landmines. These are uh, a couple of them. This one is the butterfly. They they just throw it away uh, from uh, an uh, aircraft, and they're gonna kind of turn around and they land on uh, grass. So you d you never know where where they are, and they're like uh, they uh, threw, threw a lot of them, like millions of them, on all kind of surfaces. And this is uh, this one is like the the grenade one. It has two wires, and you can't see the, the wire. So if you walk around, then it's going to explode all of them all, all, uh, all together. And yeah, you have uh, also this one is the big one uh, for tanks and, yeah, and so on. And mm, uh, so the main problem, uh, so the main uh, important one is, uh, is the anti-personal one. That's, uh, as you can see, is, is quite uh, uh, small. And mm, so it costs also very, very cheap. It's only about 20 years or something. But if you want to uh, dig it out, it's going to be, uh, it costs like uh, 1,000 euros. And yeah, they, as you can see, there's a child uh, of, uh, and also here. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're going to have a quite uh, mm, difficult life because they can't uh, play anymore, uh, like football or all kind of other uh, sports. And they're gonna grow up, so every time they have, they need uh, a new leg as well. Uh, this is the land map of, of the world now. There are a lot of uh, landmines, uh, as you can see, not only in Afghanistan but also Africa and uh, Middle Asia. And total, there are like uh, 20 se the 270 uh, uh, millions, and that's a lot. Uh, the most dangerous country right now is Angola. It's about 20 million. And the population of Angola is only 12 million. So for everybody, there's uh, two, uh, <coughs> two landmines. So maybe, maybe the whole uh, population will be destroyed and there will be uh, still mines uh, available. So. And uh, also Afghanistan as well. The red areas, that's the landmine areas. And that's only one fourth of the country. And, the, and like the gray part or the white part is not really research as yet. And only in the uh, red part, there's uh, 10 million <coughs> of, of the, of the landmines. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit of a sketchy model, well, just to visualize it. So uh, those rolling objects that we saw uh, <coughs> in the beginning, I've, uh, so I thought I'm gonna use uh, the same uh, rolling objects. I'm gonna make it 20 times bigger and also 20 times uh, heavier. And they, they're also meant for the same areas, and they will be mm, powered by the, by the wind as well. So if now, if they touch a landmine, they will uh, yeah, destroy uh, itself and the mine uh, in the same time, actually. So y as you can see, you can put all, yeah, like, uh, m many of them on a, on a surface, and if they move around and they touch a mine, and they will uh, clear it up. And also, every... Every ball, it has <coughs> it has a uh, navigation G GPS integrated in it, so you can uh, you can see the balls and uh, on a uh, internet on the internet uh, website, so you can see where they went and how many mines they 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 touched and 
and, and you can also print this, uh, this data. So you can select an area, and, and it will calculate uh, how safe is this area. It is going to never be like 100 percent. It, it will be probably uh, like 50 or 40, whatever. But if it touches a mine, so it can mean. So it, it will be. It uh, it means that uh, it will. It, it saved a life. So that's actually my goal uh, <coughs> uh, for now. <laughs> Great, and um, this has been. Thank you. There is actually some interest in this as a, as a, a product, isn't there? Is, is there's interest in trying this out in the real world and commissioning this from you, is that right? Mm, thanks to uh, my teachers, uh, Jane Worthington, she kind of introduced me to Minister of the Integration of, uh, of the Dutch uh, government. And uh, I did the presentation to him and he, he said this uh, quite interesting and uh, he passed these pictures also to the Minister of Defense, and they are now uh, uh, interested in this project. And maybe in the future we will try them uh, on a on a beach or a, uh, surface or somewhere. And I I hope they're gonna help me out to to build uh, yeah, these things. <laughs>